Hi, this is Jean Marie Jobs, executive coach and trainer with Novus Global. You may be familiar with the cost of change. Most organizations find that implementing any kind of change takes longer and is more expensive than they anticipate on the front end. Mismanaging change can be very expensive. If we don't calibrate to change, not just the external changes, but the internal change that each team member is going through, we will end up spending a lot more time and often a lot more money implementing even the simplest of changes in our organization. So many of our clients ask us, how do we navigate change? One thing we see all the time is how much change is actually occurring, whether it's external or internal or both. Sometimes the economy, the culture creates changes that we don't get a vote in. And then sometimes there's internal changes that we decide as an organization we're gonna make to strategically move in another direction, expand, realign. And then there's the double internal, <laughs> not just the internal in our company, but there's the internal over here for each individual. How does each individual manage and navigate change in their own internal world? And all three of those components are very relevant to managing change. Maybe you're just about to start a change and you're looking for tools and resources and how to minimize the pain points along the way. Maybe you're too late and you're already on the back end of change and now you're retreading to try to recover and recalibrate some of the things that got missed in the process. Wherever you're at in the change cycle, this is for you. On October 1st, Karina Neal and I are going to take a deep dive into workshopping change and change management. And what are the different components of change? What's the mindset around change? How does our brain even process change? And what can we do to support ourselves and our team in moving through the stages of change in a healthy way where there's generous communication, a vision of struggles, of our feelings even around the change. Because while change is challenging at times, while it often and necessarily even can produce fear and uncertainty and destabilization and anxiety, it can also be the catalyst for growth and for possibility and for something new. But here's a teaser that will give you some insight and a great resource to think about and to consider as you notice change in your own life. Cognitive science has done a great job of helping us understand what happens in the brain when a change occurs. Typically, the initial response is fear. It's loss. I'm not going to have something that I'm used to having. I'm going to miss a dynamic, a resource, a situation. Maybe the fear is I don't feel equipped. I'm uncertain about the future. And very quickly, that fear moves into the next stage, which is doubt. Doubt is skepticism. It's the, I don't think this is gonna turn out. Whose idea was this? And how come nobody told me? And why am I the last one to know? And it's all of the components that add to this internal experience of cynicism, resignation, which can very easily lead to the third stage. Anxiety, overwhelm, paralysis. I don't know how to manage this. I don't know what's going on. I'm afraid of this future that I can't see, that no one's painted a clear picture of for me, that I can't envision myself in this future. And this anxiety can very easily ramp up to paralyze us from making decisions in the moment, from even listening as changes are being rolled out or explained. It can collapse the way that we listen and what we're listening for in the midst of change, which again, will make the change itself very challenging because then we're missing more critical information in order to process, connect, see our part in and move forward. When you hit anxiety, what tends to happen is people recycle, not in a good way. <laughs> We're not recycling to save the earth here. We're recycling to save our certainty. So we go from anxiety back up to fear 
and loss, and then back to doubt, and then back to anxiety. And this is called the danger zone, and it just can feed on itself over and over, so people can tend to get stuck in this cycle. It can be challenging to recognize what stage am I at as the leader, what stage is each member of my team at, and how do we get someone to break through that anxiety into embracing the discomfort of change and finding the opportunity in it. Change sometimes comes suddenly. Sometimes we can anticipate it, sometimes we initiate it, and sometimes it happens because something external causes a circumstance that we need to change in order to respond to that circumstance. So be prepared. Whether you know it's coming or whether you don't or whether you're in the middle of it, give yourself the resource of workshopping your mindset and your attitude towards change and how you can support the people people around you into moving further, faster together. So join us on October 1st. The link is in the description. Please come and explore how do we get out of the cycle and what are some language cues that help us determine what part of the cycle are each of our team members in so we know how to support them in moving through each of the stages and to create an experience in the midst of change where the team is more together, more connected and more cohesive than they were at the beginning. If you're interested or you have questions, you can DM me or make a comment. Throw me your favorite emoji and I'll DM you. Let's begin a conversation.